All right, fellas, Gabriel from SaboricDermatitis.net. And what I want to look at in this video is um, will, dead, will sea salt solution get rid of your SD? Um, so initially, I'll just start up, so I've got some here, um, and just say what you, what, you, what you might experience from taking it, and a lot of people get this, is they see some results from taking it. Um, when I say take it, I mean, um, use the salt, add it to a bowl of water in the solution that it says on the back of the pack and um, warm water that is, so it mimics the kind of warm dead sea and um, put a tap, put a flannel in there and then let, put it over your face, the, the wet flannel with the sea salt solution let it soak all over the areas that are affected, um, affected on your face and on your scalp as well so, um, let it soak for like two minutes and then just wash it off with some cold water. Um, what people tend to see that have SD, you know, with, around the face, is they often see some initial relief um, in the first few weeks of doing that. So it's recommended that you do this routine if you do start using sea salt solution. Um, do it twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, and you you want to make sure that um, you're, you're doing it and that after you've done it um, your skin should start feeling smoother you should so it, because there's a lot of kind of healing properties in, in the, the Dead Sea Salt solution and um, what happens when people have SD there's an overgrowth in, um, in yeast so the yeast feeds on um, excess um, kind of nutrients in the skin and what this what the sea salt solution does is it essentially kills the yeast because it's not favorable conditions for the yeast so by killing that um, you then are able to start tackling the situation on the skin so what what you tend to find is so in the short answer yes people will um, typically see some improvement from taking dead sea salt solution but what it's not doing it's not necessarily fixing the internal problem so if your body kind of if you're, if you're putting um, you know it's kind of the wrong kind of diet into your body and your your, um, your gut's not very healthy you're gonna that that would be the underlying internal um, issue going on so simply taking the sea salt solution might make the surface on the skin better but the the underlying problem persists so it's all about finding that um, what's causing your um, what's causing your SD and hitting it at the root cause rather than sort of just masking the problem but it but that's not to say don't use it I would say do use it um, do the washes twice a day and I remember when I was first getting rid of my condition um, it helped a lot and it actually started getting you know, initially it stings really badly and it was really painful to do but it's that's you know you're going through the healing process and it, it is helping so I started finding that um, my skin started getting and the first couple of times I did it it was really painful then it started drying out afterwards I didn't know what to do I started using a bit of a vino cream just to stop it being totally dry and then I actually found that doing a few more a few more days went by um, I could do the washes without uh, with just nice smooth skin almost after so it's like really really helping so you know I'll just summarize what we've, what we've gone through there so so yes you do use uh, sea salt solution dead sea salt solution is the best um, and you know do the washes twice a day uh, once in the morning once in the evening and it, you will, you should see some. Um, you often will find some, a uh, lot of positives from doing them, but make sure you look for the solve the problem at the root cause rather than just um, sort of masking it and and treating the symptoms. So that's that's where. It, so you know, go back to the diet, um, go back to the other things which are causing your underlying issue and tackle those. So I've I've, done, I've mentioned. Um, these in another video in other videos what's causing your SD so check that out and um, yeah if you have any comments um, drop a, any questions drop them down below and I'll try and answer them and get back to you 
and uh, yeah, tr please uh, subscribe and sort of check out my content. Thanks. Cheers.